Welcome back. This is part 17 of our top-down zombie shooter game. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about tweening or easing functions. Uh, those two words are sometimes used interchangeably in game development. They refer to the same thing. Um, it's a way to do animations that are nicer looking um, which you'll see from some of the examples that we're going to do. And to start with, what we're going to do is use an easing function to cause our health pack item to sort of bob up and down to make it look a little more appealing and noticeable to the player. So we could go over to our sprite here and we could add a def update. It's going to describe how this item is going to move. And we want it to move upwards and downwards in a little bobbing motion. Now we don't want to have that look very, or we want that to look very smooth and like a natural looking uh, bouncing motion. And the easiest way to do that is using something called an easing function. So this web page is a great example of some easing functions. So an, what an easing function does is it interpolates, meaning it describes how a, a value changes over time from point A to point B, right? It could be the motion of an object. It could be the um, transparency of an object if you're fading out. Any way you get from some starting point to some ending point. So in our example, how we get from the starting position to the other end of the bounce and how we go back, right? So how we go back in between two points. And if we just had a constant speed, we would be following a linear pattern like this. And so the the item would just be moving straight down, then instantly change the direction and going back. And it would look very harsh. So we can use these other, other kinds of easing functions to change the rate at which the motion happens. For example, this is one called quadratic. And so you can see it's much more gradual as it gets down. And you can do those in either direction, right? Or even in both, right? And that's very smooth. Um, the sine wave is a very nice one because what this could look like, and if we do in and, and out, is that the object accelerates up, decelerates down towards the bottom, and then would do the reverse. Okay, there's all sorts of fun easing functions like the bouncing one where you can bounce your, your way in or the elastic one where you go past your point you want to go to and then snap back down. Um, and there are lots of fun to play around with and very useful. So the problem we have is that Pygame does not have any easing functions built into it. And we could write them but that could be time consuming. And it turns out there is a really good Python tweening library out there that will be good enough for us to use. So we just need to install it. OK, like most Python libraries, the easiest way to install it is with pip. Uh, depending on your system, you might be using pip or pip3. You're just going to say pip3 install pytweening and it will go and download it, install it, and that's all there is to it. You can uh, double check to make sure it's installed if you just do an import pytweening. As long as you don't get an error message, then it found the library, okay? So what we can do now is we can import that. Oops, sorry, not from. Import pytweening as I'm just going to name it tween because that's a little easier to type. All right, now we're ready to go down here and set up our items um, bobbing animation using the tweening engine. And so first we're going to do is we're going to define which of those tweening functions we're going to use. And I want to use the ease in out sign one. And so it'll be easy here to change the name of which function you want to use if you want to see 
some different effects, but I think this is the one that's going to look the best for what we want to see. And then we're going to define what the range of the bobbing is. Actually, just to keep things simple, why don't we make that a setting? So we'll go over to our settings here and in the items. So how many pixels up and down, you know, how much up and down do we want the, uh, the thing to bob? And so that's something we can adjust uh, whenever we want. And then we're also going to have the bob speed. How fast is it going to um, move up and down? And you'll see where that comes in as well. So those are the two kind of uh, settings that we need to define how our bobbing is going to work. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is remember that the way that the tweening functions work is they always give you back a value between 0 and 1. Okay, let's look at an example, okay, just to manually go through this a little bit. So let's say, let's say we had um, something that we wanted to move 10 steps, right? So we're going to move something 10 steps. And we want to use a tween to go between those two steps. Well, if I do tween.linear, you're going to see that's a straight line, right? We just go a tenth of the way each time. So we're moving 10 steps, so we go a tenth of the way each step. Now, that's obviously the linear thing. We wouldn't even need the tween library technically to do that. Easy to add 0.1 each time. But if we want one of those nice animated, uh, like curves we saw in that animation, we want to use one of the other ones. So let's say instead, for our 10 steps, we want to use tween is in sign. Okay, then this is what we get. And so these values are the values along that curve that we saw in the animation. So the way that these tweens work is you pass into the function some value between 0 and 1 from are you at the starting point 0 or are you at 1, the ending point, or anywhere in between. And then it will give back to you a value between 0 and 1 for wh what step along the way you should be at. So you give it a value between 0 and 1, you get back a value between 0 and 1. Okay. So this step is going to be keeping track of where we are between 0 and 1, or between the start and end point, so we know what to pass into the function. Okay. And then we are also going to have a direction because we also we're going to want to do this in both directions. We're going to want to bob up and then bob down. So we're going to have to reverse the direction. So we'll change that number between one and negative one. All right. So this update is going to do the bobbing motion. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find how much do we need to move? All right, here, let's call it offset, right? How much do we need to move from our starting position? So we're going to take the bob uh, range, and we're going to multiply it by whatever we get back from the tweening. So we're going to say, take the tween, use self.step, divided by bob range, so that's the percentage of the way along we are. And I'm going to subtract 0 0.5. And the reason I'm going to do that is, remember, tween gives us back a value between 0 and 1. But because we're starting in the center of our bobbing motion, right, from wherever we place the, the health pack, we want it to bob up some and down some. So this is just shifting it halfway, OK? And we just multiply that by the bob range. So then that just means we can move the rectangle 
uh, center Y and just add uh, the position. Oops, I just noticed we didn't save our position. There we go. Didn't do that before. So we just take our Y position and we add the offset times the direction, right? So when it flips, it'll go in the other direction. Then we take our step and we increment it by the bob speed. And if, if our step gets greater than the bob range, then we are going to set it back to zero and we're going to reverse direction. So we just reverse the, the sign on the direction. Okay. So just to walk through it again, every frame we're going to calculate how far we are along in the tween. So what step we're on as a percentage of the total range. Shift it by half the value. So we start in the middle. And then we're going to add that offset to the rectangle's position. And then we're just going to make sure that as we increment the step, if we get to the maximum, we go back to zero and start over again. And the direction will be in the opposite direction, so we'll bounce down. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, I forgot I spawned my health pack down here in the corner. Changed it on my map. So there you see the health pack bobbing up and down. Now if that's too fast for you, you can change that bob step and it'll bounce more or less. Um, and you can change the range too. Like I think that range might be a little too high. Let's go back over to our settings and maybe make the range. Let's try 15. Go into the house, so it got stuck. All right, so I made the range a little smaller, but the speed is still the same, so that means it's going to cover that range faster. So if you make the range a little smaller, you probably want to make the speed a little slower too. There we go. That's not too bad. So you can play around with that. You could try some of the other, you could try some of the other tweens. Um, it might be easier to see what the difference is if you make the, the range a lot bigger. But you can see if you change some of these, you'll get very different uh, effects. Like, let's try this one just to show you. See, it goes, it's a much faster transition. So it's moving faster in the middle part of the range. All right, so not as very, not, not as smooth as the sign one looks. All right, so we're going to keep that sign. Oops, sign. Okay. Okay, hopefully you can see some of the power of these tweens or easing functions. Um, now that we're starting to use them, we'll, there's a lot of things we can use them for, not just the bobbing up and down of the items, uh, but if you want to fade in or fade out an image, you can use it for that. If you want to transition something uh, from one color to another, you can use an easing function to, to do that. Um, when things come onto the screen or go off the screen, when you, uh, when you transition to uh, a menu or another uh, or another screen when you when you want to move from one map to another. There's a lot of places where you can use these easing functions to make your transitions and uh, animations look a lot nicer. All right, so that will do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, please hit the like button below and help us get some more subscribers to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.